here here's some examples. Uh, one of the, the the big examples I thought was this uh, situation many of you probably know about with Louis Giglio, Dan Cathy, CEO of Chick Fil A, and Lecrae, the rapper, uh, last year during it was right after the Rayshard Brooks um, shooting in Atlanta, where he was. Um, some of you remember, I think it was at a Wendy's, and he had failed the sobriety test. They were going to arrest him, and he grabbed one of the tasers from the police, tried to use it on the police officer. The police officer shot him, and he died. And this was like two days afterwards, something like that. And Louis Giglio has guests, Dan Cathy and Lecrae, come to his church, and they're going to have this night where they talk about racial justice, etc. And what happens is that Kathy and, and Giglio lament uh, all this legalized oppression and racial dis discrimination and racial disparities. Um, and they propose vague solutions such as rebuilding the system, taking responsibility, fighting for African-Americans, listening to black voices, never getting concrete though. And their greatest demand was for white people to feel the pain of black people. That was the whole point, right? It's, that's what makes you virtuous. Did you empathize? Do you feel the pain? Not did you go feed someone, not did you do something, but do you feel a certain way? If you feel a certain way, then that's, that's what's needed. And Kathy declared, this is what he said, it, is, it has to hurt us and there's got to be an emotional response. Giglio agreed stating, we've got a ways to go to get to the point of empathy. Of course, all of this was sanctioned by Giglio's understanding of the gospel. Now, what was that? Louis Giglio, who's a pastor, spoken at the Passion Conference as associations, I believe, with Desiring God. He said this, and this is June 14th, 2020. He said, um, in a way really reminiscent of liberation theology, that the gospel was a justice proposition at its core because it involved the murder of a man in broad daylight in the street, suffocating for the weight of our sin. The similarities between Jesus and figures like George Floyd were unmistakable. Pastor Giglio also believed the proper motivation for marching and protest was because the gospel proposition and the justice proposition were woven together from the beginning. The blessing of the cross meant that Christians needed to die to themselves and live for God when it came to racial injustice. This is liberation theology. I mean, I don't, if, if he didn't get it from liberation theologians, he got it from someone who got it from them, I would assume. And this sounds exactly like liberation theology. Different gospel, a gospel that is meant to uh, pr promote some kind of a political um, throwing off the, the bonds of oppression in the here and now. And, and this was part of the gospel. He smuggles it into the gospel, which is really not good. That's kind of, that's actually false teaching. I'm willing to say that. Um, it's, it's, it's at the very least being very unclear about the gospel, but I, I think you, you can see from the clarity of some of the statements, actually, it's not really that unclear. The gospel was a justice proposition at its core. No, it's not. It's a, gra it's a grace proposition. It's a mercy proposition. Um, justice is the thing that Jesus saved us from. And in broad daylight, you know, on the street, suffering from the weight of our sin that, you know, comparing Jesus to George Floyd or to someone else like uh, Rayshard Brooks. I mean, this is, it could be offensive to Christians that Louis Giglio even went there, but he did.